Hey guys, what's happening? So, it's been a while since I've made a 3D printing video, but there just hasn't really been any hardware that's been out that uh, made me want to review. So, but what I did is when I installed my Trinamic 2209 drivers, I forgot to turn down the current, and my uh, stepper motor, my extruder pancake stepper motor, was uh, getting super, super hot. So typically, for these little pancake motors, I usually like to give them about 500 milliamps, and the default is uh, 800. I'm running a Trinamic 2209s in this one and 2208s in this, and they're in a UART mode, so I can control those directly from Marlin. But uh, so if you didn't have Marlin to control these things, then you'd have to, you know, hook up and uh, you'd have to turn on a little trimmer pot with your multimeter. There's other good videos on this, but if you're running a main board that doesn't actually have the external steppers on this, like this, stepper drivers, then there's really no way to control it. You can kind of control a Marlin sometimes, but it's not, you know, you need a, like a better stepper motor. But since I'm actually running my, uh, I'm running serial mode, I don't have to use these pots. Let me show you real fast and a couple of different ways you can control this. And uh, this is my little Marlin screen. So if you want, I can't stand these uh, color screens. <laughs> they uh, don't interface directly with Marlin. So if you want to interface directly with Marlin on a screen, then, um, under TMC drivers and then driver current and I'm going to do the E1 E1 I'm going to set that down to 500 yeah they were getting super hot I forgot to turn these down yeah the pancake motors don't need as much current as like a larger stepper so if you look at my Y I mean the wider the stepper motor is yeah the more current it can handle so if you're over kerning the uh, like a small stepper motor like that pancake motor, it's going to get super hot. Uh, and really, I could actually probably turn down this smaller uh, my my X motor a little bit too. But All right, so there's four different ways you can control the uh, stepper. One is manually. One is via Marlin, like an LCD screen. Uh, you can do it in the Marlin firmware too, or you can also do it up here. Alright guys, sorry for the background noise. So, you need to first go to your console, and that could be uh, OctoPrint, like what you see in front of you. It could be Pronterface. But you need to issue an M906 TOE500. 500 is four, 500 milliamps. But I'm going to change that to 450, bring it down just a little bit. And then you can hit that, OK, and then hit M122, and that should verify the results. See, 450 right there, and M500 to save. All right, so the last place to change the uh, current would be in your uh, Marlin configuration. You're compiling the firmware, and it's under configuration advanced H, and right here, current. So you have to find your TMC driver, whatever driver you have, and change the current here, and uh, compile it, and upload it. So that's it. All right, so that's it for this video. So now hopefully these uh, motors will be running cooler. And one of the reasons why you don't want to actually have these things running hot is that it prematurely wears out the uh, bearing. And you're also transferring a lot of heat to this thing and it's called thermal expansion. And uh, you know, that actually will mess up your print. So especially because when you're actually doing a probe right now, it will basically change, change the offsets. So yeah, you definitely don't want that. It's, Definitely will uh, mess up your stepper motor. I've actually burned out a couple before like that. When I first started out, just running the thing super hot. I didn't have a didn't know a way to turn down the current. So, all right, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. All right, awesome.